Well, as with many projects at our house, um, it starts with my wife seeing something on Pinterest or Facebook, and this time she saw a picture of a room that looked like this. And it was a two-tone room, blue and white, with a chair railing, crown molding, and these wood boxes. And I think we did a pretty good job, um, considering here's what our room looked like before. It was just plain walls painted. And the first step was to measure the room, and we had to measure everything. The walls, the window, the outlet, the height, and everything, because I took all that and I put it into AutoCAD. And it was a good thing we did, because we did several different versions of... First we had, you know, five rectangles on the wall, and then four, and then different spacing, maybe wider and more spaced out, and it's different for every wall. We tried to keep them the same on either side. We ended up going a wider one and a smaller one in the middle. Um, so we went through several different versions. And another reason you have to measure the outlets is because you don't want one of the railings to go right through where the outlet is. You want to space it off of that if you can. So it, it was a lot of trial and error and double checking and making sure you had spacing on either side so the ends didn't have to be the same as the middle and everything. So once we had it how we wanted it, we went to the either Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards or whatever. We bought the one inch railing. We already had the baseboard on the, on the walls. Um, we bought the crown molding and we went to buy the chair railing and it was pretty expensive for a chair railing. They only had one or two kinds. And then we remembered we had door trim from when we did our basement. We bought the contractor's pack, the 100, 100 foot contractor's pack. We still had 40 or 50 feet left and that turned out to be just enough. So if you're going to do it, I would recommend not buying chair railing because it's quite expensive. Um, just buy whatever you need of door trim. Um, and it looks basically the same. It's a little thicker actually, and it's a lot cheaper. So all in all, I think we spent under $100 for paint and the trim um, to do this room. So it was really cheap. And to get started with the actual project, um, we snapped a chalk line up the wall where we wanted the chair railing. And my wife painted the white on the bottom, two coats, and then blue on the top, two coats. Then we installed the chair railing. Then I was in charge of cutting all the little one inch trim. I was just looking at the plan, making cuts, making sure they were the same. Um, and my wife and her dad put in all the railing. And two things you need for this project, for sure. A good miter saw and air, air nailers. Um, you're not going to be able to hammer these in and you're not going to be able to do it with the little hand miter saw. So you need a really good miter saw and um, an air nail is great, you just kind of hold it in place, you say good, and you just pop it in. If you're hammering this in, it's going to take forever and it's going to look bad. So those are two things you definitely need. But they used a level, they made sure all the spacing was right. Once they finished that, I came back and I did the crown molding. I hate doing crown molding because I always screw it up, but I try to use a, a template, a test piece, that I cut the 245s. And once I put one side in, I take this little test piece and I say, okay, it's upside down, okay, it's this one and I carry it down to the basement and I set it up to match the board. It's a pain. Um, I'm not a huge fan of crown molding because you have to hold it up as you're doing it and you're holding it at an angle. If you've done it before, you know. So if you've never done crown molding, it's, uh, it can be a hassle because you're doing it at eight foot high rather than baseboard. We're just cutting it vertically. Crown molding, you're having to hold it at an angle and cutting backwards and uh, all sorts of stuff. But having said that, we think it looks really good. You said it was under a hundred bucks. Um, you're going to have to do a lot of measuring and designing and drawing it out, making sure all your spacing is right. But once it's done, it only took you know a day to do, and we think it looks really great.